<laughs> this is already the best show on the internet. <laughs> And we're off. Hello and welcome to Buckshot Sideshow, the internet's most easily pronounced name, if you know what you're talking about. I'm your host, Tom O'Mahony, <laughs> and tonight I'll be wrangling, as best I can, two teams of four comedians who will battle it out to bring the greatest hour of comedic entertainment of your lives. Or, you know, whatever. Anyway, moving along. We have two fantastic lineups tonight of comedians sitting in the hot seats, but... To let you know who's running the whole show, we have Dr. Gordo Rochford. Running as fire. No form of mind control or blackmail in any sort whatsoever. MK Ultra, not in the room. So, our teams tonight consist of some of the greatest minds working in comedy industry today. But unfortunately, they cancelled at the last minute and we ended up with these four lads. So, apologies for that. Our team won. We have the brilliant Jim. Yes, I am Adrian Brody. Thanks for asking. Elliot. Jim <laughs> Elliot, everybody. Adrian Brody How you with doing? a drinking problem. <laughs> Join Adrian, him. Join Adrian him. Brody before the nose job. Oh, Lord. We, so, we <laughs> said we want to mention the nose. We said we weren't going to mention the nose. He turns Adrian, sideways. Adrian Brody if Halle Berry had press charges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. 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 Straight out of the gate, McBride. Happy to be here, Tom. And joining the lovely Jim is Mickey. I can't believe it's not Butter Bartlett. How are you keeping, gorgeous? Are you well? I'm sober. I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and across the battlefield on Team 2, we have the very talented Jerry. Oh, you wouldn't be long getting frostbit. McBride, all the way over there. How you doing, Jer? I'm through, Tom. How are you keeping, Pa? I'm all right. You put the biscuits down. Thanks very much for getting professional. And hey, yeah, you didn't put them down on the table. I put them down. <laughs> Show how big your glass is, Jerry. What's he said? What? Oh, look at it. There you go. Gin. Good on you. And of course, that voice you hear there is the lusciously locked, gorgeous Steve. We're only getting a grant for him because he's from Limerick. Elliot. Steve Elliot. No, thanks it's... very much, Jim. I didn't even. <laughs> I don't even remember when you asked me to marry you, Jim. Now this this is the worst news I've had so far today. <laughs> it's, I, Steve, I'm, it's Steve Cummins, everybody. Power bottom. Mm. <laughs> How are you doing, Steve? I am fantastic. I didn't even know I had a name change. Uh, it's a beautiful day, and I can't wait for the sheer hilarity that's to come. Oh, wait, and you see what's coming down the line. So oh, we'll just quickly see. I see who the buys. I'm looking around here. I'm new to this environment. This is actually professional. Normally, I'm just sitting in a shed by myself, whittling things. This is far too fancy for me. So, Jim, getting. We may as well go back to the beginning. Jim, how are you keeping? You are Keep. an, a new house owner. Is that correct? Ugh. Yeah. I don't know how much I want to. Uh, I want to talk about this because I seem to have bought a house at the dawn of the worst recession that there, you know, since the Great Recession. So yeah, uh, my name is Jim and my timing is incredible. Congratulations, no, Jim. Well place. done. <laughs> yeah. Which, in fairness, it would suggest that you're either a vastly more successful comedian than us or a drug dealer trying to wash some money. What's the crack? How about both, Tom? Yeah, that would still make you more <laughs> successful than me either, either way. Moving over. Who's, who's, I'm trying to see who's beside who over here. We have Mickey. No, because I can't work out who's there. This is all right. It, it won't make a difference in a while. The teams will be talking for themselves because <laughs> everybody's kind of moved around as I'm looking at it and I don't have the ability. Maybe I do need glasses, actually. Mickey. The best thing I know about Mickey is he's been drunk for at least four months, but you're sober tonight. But you also uh, now own an adult ninja costume, correct? That, that is very true, Tom, yes. How's lockdown going for you? If that's the case. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people are asking me, Mick, why did you buy the ninja costume? I simply say revenge. <laughs> so how big is a 4XL in Japanese sizes? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to know, is, is what makes it an adult ninja costume? There's a massive dildo stuck to the front of it. It's actually two dildos chained together, so you can give it a bit of the old... <laughs> Uh, I'm, uh, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not fucking being smart, Mickey. But anybody you kill in that ninja costume fucking deserves it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I don't know. Where, sneaking up I, on I anybody, where, man. I don't know what fucking darkness you're going to be fucking sneaking out of, pal. <laughs> People literally be going. Nighttime is approaching. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's lost a bit of weight now. He looks like the reanimated corpse of our Anne Frank. <laughs> 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 Live from his attic, it's Jerry McBride. 
<laughs> this is great. We're just going to sit here roasting each other the whole Fantastic, time. Fantastic, Steve. The hell with the game. I do. I never got around to the last day where we did a pilot episode, and there was a very interesting fact that Steve had written. He, you were mistaken for somebody famous, was it? Or was it was it just somebody that ended? You ended up in a horrendous scenario. No, I was uh, held at gunpoint for fifteen minutes by a cop because they mistook me for a two-time attempted murder. But it's a Limerick thing going anyway, you know. So no, it's... this was in America. Gun trained on the back of my head. Yeah, I was making out with a girl in a car. She was a blonde air stewardess, and it was a Trans Am. It was my Smokey and the Bandit moment. It was amazing. And the next thing, a huge light just shone on the back of the car. And I just start to open the door to see who it is. And I just hear this unbelievably authoritative female voice just going, get back in the car. And just instantly knew it was a cop, like instantly. So I just pulled, climbed, climbed in, opened down the window, and then leaned out and went, is there a problem, officer? And turned to the girl, who oh, I always wanted to say that. And he just went, don't move. And so for 15 minutes, we were sitting there. And then a cop car came flying up, lights and sirens or whatever. Guy comes up, takes me out of the car, checked inside. They opened the boot and they took out like the tire iron, as you would call it in America, Jim. And uh, I said, that looks serious. And says, it is, sir. And it goes, uh, we're looking for an attempted murderer. It's someone who tried to kill two women tonight. And you fit his description perfectly. And he frequents this area. So I went, if I say a name, will you tell me? And the guy, and then, and he goes, say the name, sir. And I mentioned the name of my boss's son. And they went, that's right. And what? at that exact moment, over the radio on the car, they got a, a, a buzz in or whatever, that uh, your man had been found sitting on the steps of the courthouse with the bloody poker in his hand. And just when the woman was going, she said, you were right to stay in the car, sir. And I said, why? She said, because I had a gun trained in your head for 15 minutes. And if you'd moved, I would have shot you. Now, looking back at it now, it wasn't going to happen. I'm clearly white. However, you know, it's bloody, you know, it was a moment. It was a... A simple same, yes would have done, Steve. You know what I mean? Arrested. A simple yes would have done. But thanks very much for filling in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of the long flowing block, blonde hair and you were in the trans am. I was like, was Steve just shifting himself in the front seat of an American First car? First of all, the top was up. I don't, I don't, I'm not an exhibitionist. <laughs> Nothing was blowing in the wind. Jerry McBride, very, very new. You weren't on the pilot episode. You are in... You're in for me. Jerry, congratulations. You've lost, what, three stone? Three stones yeah, since any of us have seen you. In what period yeah, of time did you lose that? Oh, like, you, you know, uh, you know, say what you want about lockdown, but you see that anxiety is a great sauce. Tom. Oh, good man. I was wondering how, <laughs> how bored chores does a bloke have to be to think kale is a good idea. But thanks very much, Jerry. Stick kale's, all, for... kale's all right. Kale's not bad now, so it's not. If you smush it all up in the water and just drink it in one go and say, fuck it, that's it done. I shove it into a burger. You are I dead still think he just right. chopped his legs off. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Right, we are going to kick no, There's off. something not adding up because, like, you know, the first half of this when we were getting the tech issues sorted out, I downed, like, a half a pack of chocolate digestive. So, obviously, yeah, I was watching that. Fucking going up. And that's, and that's not water. That's 7-Up, like, you know, so... Mm. We're a bad don't influence ask me, on McBride. Don't ask that's me how shape work. As the soon rock as, and roll life of the comedians, huh? As soon as he gets back into it, we are a bad influence. Right, let's kick off the show. Lads, are you ready to kick off the show? Of course you're ready to kick off the show. We are going to move straight on into today's first one. It is an, an episode or a round called Who Said This? Imaginatively named stuff. I know. Essentially, what it is, is famous but very strange quotes that were said by celebrities somewhere down the line. And what we'll do is we'll put them up and we'll allow each team to have a crack of it. See who said this. So, up first, we have Steve and Jerry are going to be up with the first quote. If you wouldn't mind, <laughs> have a gander at this. I'd poop in my backyard, but it's okay. I wear a disposable diaper. Now, what kind of an animal would say such a thing? Well, Jim, obviously, it's with the diapers reference, it has to be. <laughs> I said I, I bought poop. a house, I didn't buy a yard. <laughs> we can, we can, we can, uh, <clears throat> you couldn't afford the. It looks like it, if you, if you must know. It looks like you're having a crap right now, man. So don't worry about it. Mm. We can we can isolate this. We can fairly swiftly isolate this to uh, to to a continent because diapers are a solely American thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they you also guys just stress let your kids that shit themselves. What? It, they, no, we're kids shitting nappies. Ah, hold I, on. This is and this who is, is nappies? No, I know what this is. This is Dermot Bannon, isn't it? <laughs> the it has to be because he never leaves the garden. He's always busy. He's a, he's a he's a busy man. Yeah, definitely, it's him. What do you reckon, Jerry? 
I poop in I the backyard. See, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm r- ruthlessly competitive when it comes to these things. I'm going to fucking sit here and crack this goddamn thing like I earned I'm going to have to press you. I mean, Steve, Steve, your colleague, has already, he's happy enough to just throw one out there. I'm, Dermot Bannon. I'm going to, okay, so he poops in his backyard. So it's an American dude, and he's slightly older, and it's okay because he wears disposable diapers, so he doesn't give a fuck about the environment. Exactly. So I'm going to go with Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <that. laughs> I'll take that. Joe Biden, is that who, who you're going to go for, boys? Has to be. I poop Couldn't in the backyard, possible. and it's okay because I wear disposable diapers. Joe Biden. The boys are going for Joe Biden. If you wouldn't mind, Gordo, revealing who actually said this. David Jacovny, that weird bollocks from the X Files. You so know, there. Uh, if you give me another week, Joe Biden will have said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful stuff! All right, let's have a crack off the other two boys, Jim and Mickey. Here is your quote: As a child, I dragged a dead squirrel home on a skateboard, cut it open to look at its brain. By Jesus. Did they have skateboards in South Africa? Because if they did, I'm going to say Elon Musk. Because <laughs> that sounds like the kind of psychotic behavior that he would do. And then he would just report it later because everybody tells him he's a genius. And he's like, they like anything I say now. He has no idea. He sounds like a psycho. Could, could they maybe be the words no one can understand from Smells Like Teen Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> just sing it. Mickey, sing it. And you will get a boat. There's bonus like points going in there anyway, regardless. That's that's yeah, that's fantastic. So do you you Kurt, don't honestly uh, think it was Kurt, Kurt Cobain, Cobain, do you? No, it's gonna be so it's uh who, is it like fucking Marlon Manson? Mm, I don't know. Mm, well I do know. Some good guess. But, that By the way, all, all my references stop at 2004, so... <laughs> that's good. That's when I stopped paying attention, too, so... <laughs> He's How wearing... are Linkin Park doing? Are they still good? No. <laughs> no, not well. Not well. <laughs> They're doing well with the rapping, but the loud singing just doesn't seem to be half as good as it used to be. Mm. So, boys, I'm going to have better than Papa Roach still. I'm going to have to press you. Pressy for as a child, I dragged a dead squirrel home on a skateboard. I, I like I like Mickey's second answer. I like Marilyn Manson. Marilyn, yeah, Marilyn Manson. Manson. You think it's Marilyn Manson? All right, mm-hmm. Doctor Gordo, if you wouldn't mind, please revealing it to the two buys what it is. Oh, 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 oh. look yeah, who it Jessica is. Beale. Jessica Beale, the creepy bitch. Hmm? <laughs> look at Mickey's face. That tells you everything about that moment. That she will not be part of the bank anymore. I imagine Mick, would she? Oh, that's it. She's gone. Or she'll be just merged right up. to the front. <laughs> <laughs> What I want to know about that quote is, did she drag him? Like, did she put the squirrel on the skateboard and drag that? Or was she skateboarding and just dragging him yeah. behind That's her? What yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. She was on the skateboard. Also, you know. uh, how, how small of a child was she? Because surely you can just carry a squirrel. Uh, yeah, that's true. You don't have we, to we, fucking... we have a lot of questions about this, and very little of it is about the actual... Has anyone considered the squirrel was skateboarding at the time? Possibly. And she was just trying to help it because she's a nice woman. Like a water ski situation. I get you. Yeah, you yeah. go. There you go, yeah. 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 Maybe, the, maybe the squirrel deserved it. What was it wearing? Maybe a diaper and he was shitting in the backyard. That's what he was doing. <laughs> all right, let's and move on into the circle. next round because we'll be here talking all night. Dr. Gordo, are we moving into the filibuster round? The filibuster round. I went to school with a lad called filibuster. He's dead now. Um, he's not. He's never existed. But good name for a cowboy. It is a good name for a cowboy. And it's essentially what it is, is each team will get to waffle for two minutes. They will split it up between each other, having a minute each of their chosen strange subject slash word. So, up first, we have Jim and Mickey. Let's see the words up, if you wouldn't mind, Dr. Gordo. We have novelty urinals, just orange, the Shania Twain, premature's constipation, Val Kilmer's head, llama teeth, Cuban knee pads or toe sucking. Talk amongst yourselves there, lads. Take exactly 10 seconds and come up with one if you wouldn't mind. Pick pick one, Mickey, and I'll, I'll pick one. Say one at the same Say three, two, one, and say one. Three, two, one. The Shania Twain. Bob Which one do you pick? <laughs> <laughs> I got all confused. I was reading and trying to think at the same time. Uh, uh, classic mistake. I apologize for putting yeah. you in such an uncomfortable situation. I, I don't know why I was thinking Cuban knee pads, but... Cuban knee pads. How do you feel about that, Jim? You look like a guy who could own Cuban knee pads. <laughs> and Mickey, you sound, I, I you sound only... like someone who uses kneecapping very often. 
<laughs> I did trust you to go for the knee support issue. Oh, Be like, oh, yeah, what right. kind of a caliber can those stop? So, you know what, Jim? As, as, a, as a congratulations for buying a house, you pick one and I'll and go first, and I'll just, I'll just, I'll just panic. Uh, <laughs> I'll go for the Shania Twain. The Shania Twain. Okay, the, so you the know Shania the rules, Twain. boys. You know the rules. This is no teetering off into the abyss. You have to stick with the Shania Twain, whatever the Shania Twain decides to be. So we will count you in. Who's up first? I got it. Jim's going to go up first. So Jim gets one minute and three, two, one. Go, Jim. There were a number of techniques that may or may not have existed, but as a young man finding out about the way sex was supposed to work, they gave them names. And none of them were more famous than the Shania Twain. Now, the Shania Twain was one that was very, very popular amongst all of the girls that I knew when I grew up, which is where no matter what you did, they were not very impressed. <laughs> not only were they not oh. impressed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad that that got a round of applause because I think that's all I got on this. No, but there were a lot of things to the Shania Twain that people didn't know about. It involved the wearing of boas and the singing out of the tops of, uh, of, of, of the convertible cars. And there was a, uh, I remember one time when Shania Twain was, was uh, when she met Brad Pitt. And she just said that, you know, that guy stinks. Did you guys know that? Brad Pitt doesn't believe in bats. Hard and that's the, hence the line in the, in the song where she goes, okay, so you're Brad Pitt. That don't impress me much. Hmm. However, <laughs> it was going, it going on to, I'm trying to find shoehorn in a pun to, to the man. Right. I feel Mickey, like a gear woman. up, put her into first gear. And off you go, Mickey. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, nice head turn, Mickey. <laughs> I, I was actually quite surprised, quite surprised to find that uh, the Shania Twain was in your school as well, Jim, because in, in my uh, school in Northern Ireland, the Shania Twain, it was something sexual, but it wasn't exactly the same thing. Mm. Uh, basically, the, the story, the urban legend, is that uh, one of the girls in, in our school um, was about to give a man a bit of a, a, bit of a handy. Mm. And as she, as she reached down um, to, to, to touch his, his testicles, she accidentally uh, hit a bit, I believe, uh, we, we couldn't think of the word, I think it's called a perineum. But when she asked someone, you know, in some places it's called the taint, uh, in mm. the south of Ireland it's called the tisn't, but in the north it's called the Shania Twain, because it's Twain, <laughs> your balls, and your butthole. Ah, the old Shania. The old Shania Twain, and weirdly again, because the man had just performed PE and was a little bit sweaty, in that sort of perineum area, he did in fact feel like... A woman. Oh, 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 one second left on the clock. Well done to the two boys. So, Jerry and Steve, you're up next. Now, the Shania Twain, it has been taken. So, you are left with the rest. There is novelty urinals, just orange, premature constipation, Val Kilmer's head, llama teeth, Cuban knee pads, or toe sucking. What Can do you I think, be the boss? first one to point out the constipation is spelled incorrectly? Is it? Thanks or for incontinently. That. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, don't lose your shit. <laughs> hey. So, what do you reckon, Jerry, boys? Jerry, I am more than Steve. happy because obviously we got to listen to one minute of you speaking about anything in a Monaghan accent. With you, we can talk about it. So, what do you? You can pick anyone you want. I'm, I'm uh, good, Steve. You, 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 you pick, buddy. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm easy. Okay, let's go with. Well, do you know what? Now that you've you know that you've corrected. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'm not mad about because toe sucking. I don't even want to. I'm gonna have to press you guys. <laughs> Will we go with Val Kilmer? Yeah, go with Val Kilmer's head. I knew go McBride. On, I knew he'd want that. Fuck, I knew not? he'd want that. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> For next on next week's show, we have Steve and, is pedantic. And out of the goodness of my heart, Jerry, I'm going to let you go first. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. So Val, what a guy, Val Kilmer's head. So if we could have the clock, please. So oh, his head. Oh, I thought it was just his teeth. Oh, okay. Mm. I, I don't mind going first. Oh, sorry. So no, it was llama teeth. So on three, two, it's me or it's one. Me or Steve. McBride, Jerry, off you go. All right, see, the best thing I ever learned about Val Kilmer's head is when I was updating his Wikipedia page, which I do once or twice every week just for pure fucking badness. <laughs> what I learned about his head is that it was normal up until the early 90s when he signed up to play Batman in Batman Forever. And they had to fucking put the new cowl on him so that he would look like Batman because the old one from Michael Keaton's didn't work because Michael Keaton's a bit of a pinhead. So they <laughs> took the old Batman cowl and put it on fucking Val Kilmer. It just wouldn't fucking go on him whatsoever. So they had to get it remolded on him. So they wrapped his fucking head in all this, like, toilet paper and shit, 
and put like PVA glue in it and all this kind of thing. But what they forgot to do, and this is fucking key when you're wrapping your head in toilet paper and PVA glue, is smother his face in Vaseline to begin with. So we're all just fucking stuck to his head. And there's fucking Iceman wandering around the place, can't see <laughs> nothing, right? He's there like, I need a fucking wingman. I need a, and where's Cruz when all this is going on? Fucking nowhere to be seen. We acting the bollocks, right? So there's Street. fucking Iceman wandering around, can't see shit. We're looking to be Batman in the next five minutes, and Steve, you can fuck, you can tell me. Yes, yeah, Steve, that. off you Jerry, go. Uh, Jerry, I hate to, as my teammate, I hate to argue with you, but this is another case of poor spelling and and indeed poor <laughs> possible for use. This is actually Val Kilmer shed, right? <laughs> it's a specific type of shed that's of only available in Woody's, right? And it's an amazing shed. When you first get it, when it's new, it is the most beautiful fucking shed you've ever seen in your life. It's slim, it's narrow, it's gorgeous, right? And then the longer you have it, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually you can barely look at your shed again. But the one good news we have is that as long as, oh, I've only got 16 seconds to tell you how good this news is. Oh, how good is this news? It's amazing. The news is this. Just in, <laughs> that the Val Kilmer shed is now available in Woody's for only the value price of, oh, I'll have to tell you some other time. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Fantastic. That was brilliant. Well done, boys. So that ends the filibuster round. That was brilliant. The only problem is Steve, Steve went sideways off altogether. So the scores after those first two rounds is Jim, your team, one million and one point. Steve's team, one point. Sorry, it's just purely... Did you give them, did you give them a million for a point for every time they said, uh... It was Mickey singing in the early early show part of the show. All I right, can't fair help enough. I'll, I'll give him points for that. Now we are looking. There's an absolute blast of comments coming in, so keep keep them firing up on the side there. We, we this show will be available to see for everybody else, so keep the comments coming. I can see lots of smiley faces. I haven't seen anybody curse at us just yet. So lads, you're absolutely playing the blinder. Dave Waltz, let's, class, let's on nice that. one, Dave. Fair play, T. No negativity. I thought this was going to be on YouTube. Yeah. I know. Why has your mother not commented <laughs> Mick, yet, Tom? I'll, Conlon. Jesus, Tom, picture quality is class. You can thank Dr. Gordo for that one. <laughs> Welcome to 2020. <laughs> That's somebody who wants to look at you, Tommy. Fantastic stuff. So uh, are we, yeah, we'll move on into the next round. The next round is called, delicately titled, Scutter Talk. We had to explain this to Jim because he's American and all the rest of it. Essentially what it is is obscure clips from TV shows throughout the internet. We will put them up. Turn down the sound. Hilarity will ensue as the boys try and talk over it. So, first clip up is for Jim and Mickey. So, boys, are you ready? Lick your lips. Let's go. Get going and have a rip off this. Woof! Woof, woof. (laughs) 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 Unhand me, you pig. Unhand me. These captors, they will not find us. Get your filthy German hands off of me. I will never tell you where the rest of the resistance is. You dog. You smell. You're disgusting. How dare you? Wait, that tickles. Help, help. Ah, Mel. I can't believe they can't can't Little Britain. (laughs) (laughs) So I'd like to know where. You got the notion. <laughs> I, I honestly, God, I love Little Britain so much. I can't believe. I'd like to know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little off the top now, Bobby. Just a little off the top now, Bobby. I've got a, I've got a job interview next week, and I gotta go in, and I want to look sharp. So just a little off. Oh my God, what have you done? You've given me a pure buzz cut. What is this gonna What is this gonna look like? How am I gonna explain? Ah, my neck. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I seem to have cut your dick off. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Little Britain is my favorite show. I can't believe. I don't know why. <laughs> I love that. That's what we got for the one for that one sheep. That, that one sheep is the shitty piece of shit racist one. That sheep looks so fucking relaxed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I for, I knew I knew that one was going to go sideways and at some stage Mickey was going to do a cork accent I don't know why just she <laughs> he did look relaxed though that's the thing and none of you none of you went down the hairdressing route I thought somebody would ask have you been anywhere nice on holidays but no you didn't mention mm-hmm. it anyway 
Right, up next, Jerry and Steve. All those hours from the disadvantaged areas that you're from of staring in through your rich win- windows of your neighbour's <laughs> garden. This will set you in good stead. Year one is up next. Get ready, boys. Here she is. <laughs> Jesus, Monaghan's looking fierce fucking lovely this morning, isn't it? So, come here, about last night. Don't tell anyone that me Mickey wouldn't else get hard. <laughs> okay, is there any particular reason you froze <laughs> Hi, I have a quick question for you. Ask my bollocks. How fucking white are your teeth? <laughs> Listen, I'm only doing this because I owe someone that gives me money. No, seriously. I mean, the sun's reflecting off him. It's blinding the fuck out of me. Oh, Call the truth for us, you bastard, you. <laughs> Listen, I tell you what. Why don't we do like a shed load of LSD and go oh, for a walk? That doesn't sound like a bad idea, love. What? <laughs> how, much, how much LSD have you got on you? Right now? None, if you know what I mean. Well, I suppose. <laughs> Do you know what you'd make a great? You'd make a great James Bond, you know. Seriously. Uh, and you'd you make a great fuck. actress come back here now. Okay. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of music. Okay, why didn't you tell me you'd be running? I didn't stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Well done, boys. That was very, very good. All right, we're going to move on into the next clip. So, the two boys next back up, Jim and Mickey. This is year one. Mm -hmm. Off you go. I hope it's cheap again. (laughs) (laughs) Well, listen, I just like his policies, that's all. I just just think that a wall is the best way to stop a virus. And if you've got a virus and you've got a pandemic... I agree. You need to build. Uh, I was as my, as my sister was saying. I just think sometimes you got to take one brick, put on top of another brick. I got these tattoos, and I was wondering maybe we could. I I had sleeves on my shirt, but I don't know where they went to. So these, these Tic Tacs are in a weird bottle. Those are that's the most incredible moisturizer I've ever found. But you should have seen what I look like before I discovered this. Oh, well done, boys. Well done. I know it's it's tough. That is from if for anybody who hasn't seen that, you may as well give it a gander. It's called the Weird and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia. Everybody made by the good people mm-hmm. that made the jackass. So up oh, next we have the lads having our next crack off this. So Steve and Jerry, get yourself psyched up. Here we go. Oh, this sorry, just for ye, because Steve loves a good dark one. This is a dark one. Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've had the worst pain in my fucking tooth for the last two months. Listen, I just thought it'd be really funny if I put super glue on your hand moisturizer. Any chance? Any chance? Oh, fuck. That's my wanking arm. Jesus Christ. I've been away for weeks. With... <laughs> you fucking compo seeking bastard, yeah. Compo? Listen. <laughs> Pornhub went free since the lockdown. I, what else am I supposed to be doing? Jesus, alternate your hands, you stupid bollocks. <laughs> Listen, you can't use one fucking hand. How am I supposed to use two? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's, you know, oh, I see what you mean. So up and down rather than side to side. All right, it's a good, good technique. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Well, all this, never, all never these do. years of my life. Do you know what? <laughs> You're not, you not do you know what's really mad? In real life, my name's McLean Burke, and I've actually lost a load of weight. I've become really obsessed with, with the gym. Listen, it's not my fault the child left the iPad open. <laughs> Couldn't close the iPad. It was stuck open. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know yourself, I'm working on I say, I say this for you. You don't, you, you don't say much. We, we, when you're moving your lips, not many words come out. Here, look, look. See here, look. This is... Don't fuck. Look, oh, Jesus. I, have one, I, I have one question for you, Super Bollocks. Why have you still a CD player on the dresser there? It's 2020, for fuck's <laughs> Well, I'll tell you why. Because I'm on a... Re- oh, fucking gig. Do you know what? That's my handbag. I bought that. That's Louis Vuitton, you prick. Look, uh, move. I have to puke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these... Listen, Lee. Oh, what the fuck, you kinky bitch. <laughs> 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 By God Almighty! By God Almighty! Do you know what? There's nothing I like better than a good hard wank while I'm <laughs> hugging a fucking handbag and having my shins battered by an angry woman. Thanks, love. It's a niche. It's a niche fetish, but you're really helping me. Why does this leg break? How did you close the curtain so fast? <laughs> that was insane. Have you got those magic curtains? <laughs> yeah. They oh. have been battering you oh, since morning. Oh. Okay, I'll tell you what. If I'll play, I'll I'll hide. I'll I'll close my eyes and you hide. 
You're really shit at hiding. I mean, I I can I can actually feed you. Oh, oh, they caught us. They caught us. Well, All right, time's you up. It's your turn to hide now. <laughs> Hang on, I'm uh. Just off the <laughs> Well done, boys. What the fuck even was that? Sorry, that what one went on forever. I believe it was Fair City's attempt to uh, highlight the uh, abuse of males as well as women in domestic violence. Mm. Oh, man, we probably shouldn't have made fun of that. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I only, I only uh, realized well, halfway through what it was, and I thought, well, I'm in now. <laughs> Mc, McBride, are you telling me... Like, we really McBride, should, McBride, we should be showing these start. clips before we start. <laughs> McBride, you are you telling me... You have cheap in blackface. And we had domestic violence. It's not fair. <laughs> McBride half towards the end was going, I have been clattering you since morning. Like, <laughs> at no point did you pick up that maybe it was a domestic violence case that she hit him with a... a <laughs> what was she hitting him with? It was a, a it shovel was, out of the fireplace. Wow. <laughs> it genuinely looked like she had pulled the leg straight off the table of the, the coffee table and started whacking him with it. Oh, that's you know what, what was going through my head when she was hitting him again and again? I don't know why, just the, the line from The Exorcist where he's, the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> that was a holy The trouble. power of Christ compels you. <laughs> and, like, Tom, did you, did you loop that video or does she legit hit him, like, Oh, no, it's times? going on that long. Trust me. Wait. Trust me. Wow. Trust me. That, and that's even the shortened version. There's, like, a five-minute version of that. So, well done, Not boys. So fair, I have no idea what the score is, but I'd say you're all on about a gazillion pints. Jim is on a gazillion pints. Anne Marie Doherty, fair play to she is back. Scott the talk, yeah, she's not, oh, it's, it's Anne Marie's favourite. Understandable, Anne Marie, you're from the west of Ireland. Now moving along, <laughs> who else? <laughs> Dave Walsh. I, I may David start Walsh watching. There. I fair may City. start watching Fair City now yeah, as well. I just it looks like good stuff David, in sharp sports. David belongs here. Get yeah, him on. Of course he does. So obviously nail biting stuff. We'd have no idea what the scores are. Our final round is imaginatively called headlines. Yeah. What's this headline. about, Tom? It's about lines on a head. <laughs> Essentially what it is, it's obscure headlines from around the world that we have procured so delicately. No, we just went rooting for weird jokes on the net and extracted <laughs> the odd word. Vicky taken. Bartlett's forehead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we extracted the odd word so the lads wouldn't have a clue what was going on. It'll be left up to the teams to have a gander. If they get it right, they might get points. If they have a wild bit of crack, as they say, they'll still get points. So, first up, we have Mickey and Jim. You're up to bat, boys. This is your first headline. British vicar catches something waiting for God's answers. Or should oh, I say, good. catches blank. blank. So, coronavirus. Come, you're two comedians, and that's what you're going to do. <laughs> i got to knock 45 <laughs> seconds out of you two fuckers. Jesus, uh, Jim goes catches, so catches, literal. I would oh, think it's probably corona. Fish. Come on. Chlamydia. Catches Catholic priest. Catches, catches <laughs> Catholic priest. There we go. I like that one. Catches Catholic priest trying to peep through the people. Yeah, but he goes, ha, ah, I caught you. You were waiting. Catches glimpse of his reflection <laughs> and Catches realizes it's all on the doornail. <laughs> waiting for God's answer. Is, 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 is that what a, a, a British vicar calls the money shot? Hey! <laughs> See, that's yeah. more like it, Jim. That's okay. more like Sorry. it. Well done. My, you... my one from earlier on was British Vicar catches the child he was chasing after while waiting for God's answer. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so, that's in poor taste, Gordon, seriously. Well, we were yeah, just, Jesus, Gordon. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. We were just... Come on. Literally, Jesus Christ. Can we keep it light, like domestic violence, please, without you having to just lower the tone? <laughs> the child was white. Oh, oh it's, it's grand, so. Oh, God, it's grand. Yeah, no, it's grand. It's grand. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Dr. Gordo, if you wouldn't mind. British Vicar catches fire while waiting for God. Yeah. Wow. Chapping us out of England. There he is. Oh, that's a great story. Yeah, he's Lovely. literally caught fire while waiting that's for God. beautiful. Mm. And is he, all, like, is he all right? Oh, oh yeah, he's grand care. now oh, again. Yeah. Thanks for asking, Jerry. Now, <laughs> on to the two boys. So, Steve and Jerry, here's, there your, we go. here's your first headline. Have a rip at this, guys. State population to double by 2040. Blank to blame. British Ryan. Pull out method. No, Ryan, shorty. Um, so Wait, we went too literal? Is that what was yeah, the complaints earlier? I know. I know. <laughs> we were okay, too sorry. I'm sensing burnout Corona here already. Coronavirus there. Is that making it better? <laughs> At least that's topical. <laughs> Do you think Ryan's not topical? What else have we been doing for the last three months in lockdown? Wanking. Ah, oh, Mickey. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, don't Mickey. Fr Mickey's right there, lads. Jesus Christ, he's living with his own. Mickey, one. my name. Yeah. Mickey, my name. Yeah. 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 Population to double by twenty. Pair to blame. 
Sorry, Mickey, go on. There was something hilarious going to come out of you uh, there. Go on. Yeah, it's, it's too late. No, I was going to say the only thing topical I have is a cream. <laughs> oh, well, that's a, that. You know what? But um, tush. State, State population, population doubled double by, by 2040. 2040. Normal people to blame. That is. Semen. Oh, normal people. That's clever. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm, here for. I'm not here to stop the fucking ground from rising, Steve. <laughs> well, of, co- of course it's normal people. It's not the gays, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just go bake a cake about it, all right? <laughs> all right. Let's have an owl look at it. So, state population, uh... if you wouldn't mind, to double by 2040. Babies to blame. Tech, there you technology. Are. Ah. I mean, like... God damn those sexy babies. <laughs> it's, just, it's just all right there. <laughs> Steve, we thought you weren't going... Yeah, no, thanks for going there, yeah. Steve, because you know what? I, I, I really, uh, really hoped you would. That is... <laughs> sexy babies. If they are kind of babies, the babies, Call back. They're the ones out in the back garden with those disposable diapers. <laughs> hey, it's all... That's good. It's all a theme. There you That's go. Because, it's because the pill comes in a childproof bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's from Lurgan Mickey's from Lurgan everybody the pill comes in a bottle Do you know what that is? That's sleeping tablet she's taking Mickey <laughs> Well it works for me Nope doesn't matter Okay Moving swiftly on We're live <laughs> Jim and Mickey Not for long <laughs> No not for long <laughs> This is your next headline Have a gander at this Blank ghost haunts house Hmm A blank ghost haunts house Boring. Yes, you are, Jim. I want, I, want to, I want to see a ghost get into haunting other stuff. Why is it always house? How about a haunted boat? I'd like a haunted boat. Where's Steve? Somebody get Stephen King on the blower. Mickey has a haunted pair of trousers, but go on. Blank <laughs> ghost haunts house. Ah, uh, fucking nervous ghost. Like a ghost. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. You guys all right? Like an, intro- like an introverted ghost. ghost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, look, uh, I, I really, I, I know I'm not doing this right. I'm an INTJ, and uh, and I got it. <laughs> yeah, like, is it polite ghosts? Like, people buy a new house, and the ghost's like, move in, move in. <laughs> I hate that wallpaper. No, I'm only joking. I love it. <laughs> my, my one from earlier on, Mickey, was a paramilitary ghost haunts house. It was heard in the middle of the night to say, everybody out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loyalist ghost haunts houses in the middle of the night. It goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it. That's, you know what? Tom's going to give you a billion points for that, I can tell. Yeah, of course I am. Yeah, Mickey's playing a stereotype here. You know what I mean? You could spring a knife out. Why don't you? You know, get with the program, Steve. Right. If you wouldn't mind, Dr. Gordon, find a way reveal, to stab you over the internet, I would. Horny ghost haunts house. There you have hmm. it. From uh, North Australia, this woman, she, and she's not even getting buggered in her sleep like some people you hear of, you know. He's just growing up in our apartment. Maybe some ghost. people you hear of. Yeah, I, you know, Jim, it's been locked down. I, you know. I haven't been in Tipperary in a long time, but all right. <laughs> I actually read that story. They found out when they couldn't get the Ouija board to stay on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need the planchette to point at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy me? No. Right. Is there any? Is there anybody there? <laughs> yep, definitely. <laughs> so, Jerry and Steve, here is your headline. Woo! Oh, that's my answer. Woo. Ah, now, Gordon Ramsay sex blank eaten by blank. Gordon Ramsay sex face eaten by Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Gordon, just I, I had a little bit of a fucking brain freeze there. Gordon Ramsay the chef. That's him, yeah. That's the chef. Yeah, full of cocaine. I put it on front street right at the start of this fucking thing. I attack these things scientifically, so I do. I'm a, I'm a fucking deconstruct this First thing. First mistake. Yeah. You are right, literally like they're adding five pounds under my saddle by putting you on my team, McBride. <laughs> you, don't even know, you don't even know who Gordon Ramsay is. Gordon Ramsay sex doll eaten by fucking me during lockdown because I've eaten everything else. Gordon Ramsay sex cake eaten by dwarf. Gordon Ramsay sex dwarf eaten by a different dwarf. And the reason why I throw that in, wasn't there a, wasn't there like a fucking Gordon Ramsay lookalike? Porn guy, yeah. Ooh. And he got eaten by a badger, didn't he? Yes, Gordon Ramsay sex dwarf eaten by badger. I've seen this. Are you going with I that? Think. Gordon Ramsay sex dwarf. If that's what it is, I'm amazed. Eaten by badger McBride. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, or, oh, or, right. or, 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 or I'm completely it? fucking lost. There definitely was a dwarf eaten by a hippo. I can't. Yeah. 
I, that know. was at a that was in Thailand at a at a <laughs> genuinely at your, your fortieth birthday party. He no, he bounced. No, it was happening in Thailand. He bounced <laughs> off a trampoline and went straight into the mouth of a hippo who swallowed him whole. So yeah, was, that's that's the story I would yeah. have said as well. I, I, yeah. Right, Someone... let's have the big reveal, Doctor Gordo, if you would, please. Gordon Ramsay's sex dwarf sex eaten dwarf. by oh, badger. Right. There you go. I fucking knew I'd seen that somewhere before. Did you write I that? Take back. <laughs> Do you know what? You're the thoroughbred, McBride. The silence yeah. off where Edinburgh. I, just, I had, had, had to pull it together now, and I was there like little. When he had to start by clarifying that Gordon Ramsay was the chef, I was like, oh, there's no way, nothing. You see, was, this, that, was that just a faint? Was that a dodge? Just like that a, was amazing. It's scientific. You gotta, you gotta work through these things, and eventually the answer will, will present it. It's all there, guys. The, the fucking information you need to solve these, it's all just right there. Where was the badger? Where was the sex dwarf and the badger? Dwarf porn. Do you think that that guy had Gordon Ramsay sex dwarf on his insurance details? It, it, it was, if, if I remember the story correctly, and Tom, I'm sure you'll you'll you'll, you'll tell us exactly what it is. But he was like a lookalike uh, little person. Exactly. Lookalike dude who you would you get hired for stag parties and shit like this, and uh, eaten by a badger. No mystery there. Got eaten by a badger. There you have it. <laughs> My bride got the first correct question of the entire. <laughs> The entire show. Wow. I have a few questions, but one, like, I mean, no matter how small you are, I think you could at least outrun a badger. No, you couldn't. Well, no, 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 you, you couldn't. Yeah, oh, lethal. Like, what type of badger are we talking about here? Because, like, you know, the little black and white badgers. Little. You know, even little. those fuckers are the size of the would big dog. There you are, Gordon Ramsay's dwarf porn double. Percy Foster was his real name. Poor old Percy. Poor old there Percy. A dwarf porn star of Gordon Ramsay's double has been found dead in most bizarre circumstances according to UK tabloid The Sunday Sport. Percy Foster's 100... Ah, The Sunday Sport. Three famous foot, for their journalistic three foot integrity. Six. Absolutely. He was discovered in a badger's den in Wales. The report says the 35-year-old found oh, dead okay, deep well, underground. Oh, okay, well now it's not funny anymore. That's just gross. The Ministry of... Now, who well, we, was we've looking? We've established that this is very... Who was looking? I think oh, what we've learned because, is if you're going, of, if you're going to fuck a dwarf... Talk. Or sorry, if you're going to fuck a badger, make damn sure that you're tall enough to reach his, his, his holes. <laughs> I think as well, I actually read a bit more into that. Apparently because of his stature, he thought the badger was a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently porn lookalikes get more money than normal actors. Dwarf, dwarf likes are rare as hen's teeth. This is all from Percy's own mouth. God rest Percy. Well, now that I'm looking at the opposing team, as you said, you've got Adrian Brody and G.I. Jane there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, you guys could make a fortune. When the badger brought him home, do you think the little guy, do you think the little guy thought that he was set? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I would. It, 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 deep underground, the Ministry of Agriculture ex, uh, experts ahead of a planned badger gassing program. That's how they, they were going to gas... The Badgers. Jim, do not go there. Steve, you are itching to eat that microphone. I'm, or, I'm already there. Yeah. Yeah, I can see you tipping over the edge and the show has almost ended. There's yeah, a vein yeah, on the me, side of Steve that, Cummins' please. head right now. There's a vein ready to burst. To, to it is. Grind. It's right there. It's right Keep there. it right trapped there. much. So, so Tom, the, 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 the council was going to gas the Badgers. They're gas the Badgers. And Percy Foster, was he affiliated with the council or what was his story? The cutoff point was there. The cutoff point was there of the story. (laughs) Right. I'm going to do an episode on uh, those conspiracy (laughs) guys as a true crime mystery. Yeah. Because it's definitely like it's badger revenge for like some kind of genocide. And they start with the small people and work their way up to bigger people, maybe. I don't know. I know. I think Gordon Ramsay would be shitting it. We need to be quicker getting, getting out and gassing these badgers. I mean, he'd be alive today. Poor wee Percy. If they'd actually, you know, it's probably budget no, cuts. Do it. Probably the it reason why. If it wasn't for the fucking lefties, Steve, I, I agree. Right. Anyway, that's the <laughs> game. It's because he was both black and white. Oh, they felt you know. Well, like what I want to know is like, was he? I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit lost. Was he working for the council? He was so working his, for the council. He by, was. By Badger was affiliated. He was doing a Nixer, and he was, work, he was his, working for the county council in that area. No, dwarf, he was. dwarf porn is usually a, a freelance job, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't oh, imagine so, you're getting a grant from Fingal County Council to go and do it. So, so uh, what we're looking at here is like little person porn safer than council work. There you go. Exactly. Mm. Great, I mean, great synopsis. And now, some, and some evenings, it's good to when learn walking something. through the forest, you want to learn something every yeah. show. You can still hear the badgers whisper, "Never forget." <laughs> Where's the lamb sauce? 
and that is the game. After all that, the scores <laughs> are unbelievably nail-bitingly close. Steve's team, minus 401. <laughs> Jim's team. We did it, down, Jerry. We Steve, did it. Man. I'll let you down. Minus no. 402 because, McBride, you pulled it back. You are the winners. Ah, Jerry McBride go, and Steve man, Cummins yeah. for actually getting that question actually right you weird bastard mcbride i don't know how you got to the <laughs> that bottom was, of that that was a hell of a pull so Dark, as you can see up here everybody watching from uh, especially if you're over on periscope you will see the boys twitter handles up there get following my thanks of course to jim elliott mickey bartlett steve cummins and jerry mcbride i couldn't have done this without the fantastic dr gordo rochford in the background my name is tom O'Mahony. until we see you again on buckshot sideshow thank you very much very much and good night Hey, Jamal.